a number of the hunters who killed red wolves reported that they had accidentally thought they were shooting a coyote. Six wolves died out of a population of 100 animals in the course of about four weeks. Uh, but when the moratorium on the coyotes was imposed, uh, basically it got anybody that was a landowner uh, against the coyote, first off, which in turn was against the red wolf. When a landowner can't protect their other resources, it made the landowners button up their sleeves and say, well, you know what? They're telling us that we can't protect our property. And so it's been shown a number of times that killing coyotes does not work. It actually increases the population growth rate when you remove coyotes from the population. Where are these red wolves and coyotes going to go? They are going to go on this private hunting club to feed. Chris and his colleagues taught me that one threat red wolves face is hybridization, which means that pure red wolves are at risk of extinction because they're breeding with coyotes. There's the red wolf and the coyote. When they crossbreed, they create a hybrid. Even though they can be hard to tell apart, there are several physical differentiations. Red wolves are larger and brown with reddish patches on their muzzle, back of their legs, and behind their ears. Coyotes can be brown, gray, or black with a longer, thinner muzzle. Hybrids can be anywhere in between. Uh, when I first came, oh, when I first walked in, I went, oh, because he looked kind of big for a coyote. But if you look at his feet, he's got he's got dang near wolf-sized feet. You know, that's kind of small for a for a male, an adult male wolf, but it's bigger than a normal coyote. By the 1990s, coyotes moved in from the north and the west. Chris and his team used what is called placeholder theory to deal with these non-native coyotes because they were breeding with the red wolves to create what are called hybrids. The team would create pairs of males and females. They could be mixed, where wolves are paired with coyotes or hybrids that the biologists sterilized so they cannot reproduce. Or they could be pure natural red wolf pairs, or red wolf pairs the biologists put together. What they did not want were pairs of non-sterilized coyotes or non-sterilized coyotes with red wolves, who could breed with each other to increase the hybrid population or the non-native coyote population. Chris explained that when placeholder theory works well, you get pure pairs of red wolves or mixed pairs of a red wolf with a sterilized coyote or a sterilized hybrid that keep coyotes from entering into the 1.7 million acre red wolf recovery area. And that allows the red wolf population to grow into those areas. While some people don't believe it was working, recent scientific research suggests that it was. It was amazing to get to see their work firsthand.